Hello, my name is Brandon Enright, and this is a video on how to understand very, very basic commutators. My hope in this video is that after you watch it, you'll sort of understand how a, or what a commutator is and how it works, and even understand um, maybe the basic principles of finding uh, the really, really, really simple ones. So. A commutator is a fancy term for this mathematical thing that's not very important. The important thing about a commutator is that it allows you to three cycle pieces very easily. And it, it basically is, it follows quite simple rules. And it makes a lot of sense. So on this puzzle, let's just call this move, like we'll just call it x. I have an x part right here. And you can see that when I do this move, um, the green piece that was here goes right there, and then the yellow piece that was there goes right there. So, oops, they basically swap. So that those two swap and those two swap. And we can call this part Y. And you can see that those two swap and those two swap. So if we do X, and then we do X inverse, and then we do Y, and then we do Y inverse, we did nothing. And that makes sense. And what if y was over here? So if we do x, and then we do y, and then we do x, or we undo x, and we undo y, obviously, as you'd expect, nothing happens. The cool thing is when x, and you can get x and y to overlap by just a little bit. If you can get them to overlap by one piece, then you can create a three cycle. And so let's do x. Now, notice how the yellow piece right, that was right here went right there. We'll ignore this green piece for now. We just took yellow and we put it right there. Now if we do Y, notice they only overlap by just this yellow piece. We're about to swap this orange piece and this yellow piece. Okay? Now if we undo X, we're about to swap this orange piece and this green piece. So the green piece is going to go back into its original spot. But now we have to undo the Y part. And so we're going to swap the green and the yellow. And you'll have seen that because they overlapped by one piece, we created a three cycle. So everything moved counterclockwise. So the yellow went there, the green went there, the orange went there. Let me show that to you again. Do X, do Y, undo X, undo Y. And you can see that it creates a three cycle in this puzzle. And again, if there's no overlap, if we do X and say this is Y, and then we do X, and that is Y, you know, we undo X, undo Y. Nothing happens, and that, and that makes sense. So, you know, it sort of makes sense if you do this move, and then you, it doesn't matter how many other moves you do that, that don't overlap, and, you know, and then you can undo them in any order, and nothing will happen. Now, X does not have to be one move, and Y does not have to be one move. And in fact, it really isn't important at all what X and Y are, just as long as they only overlap by one move. So let's say that our X is this. We did the, that three moves, so let's let's un, un, undo it. So x, x2, x3, you know, the three moves for x. Now, if we want to undo it, we have to do it backwards. And you can see. So let me, let me show that to you again. OK? And then undo it, and nothing happens. So let's say, like, this is x, and then this is y. OK? There's no overlap. And then we'll undo x, and then we'll undo y. And we will have put down a bunch of moves and nothing will have happened at all. And this puzzle will be back to its original state. So let's do x, and then let's do this y. So there's a one piece overlap right there. Then we got to undo x, then we got to undo y. And we'll have created a three cycle of orange, red, and then over here, this white piece. So why did it involve this white piece? And why was the red piece that was here, why did it go right there? So let's look at x. So if this was x, see this red piece? That red piece came from right there. So if we do x again, you can follow it. Now it's there. Now it's there. And then if we do y, put it right there temporarily. Now we got to undo x. So now we're taking the white piece and we're putting it back in that red spot. And then we got to undo y, and we're going to take the red piece that we temporarily put there. We're going to put it right there. And as you can see, the orange piece that was here sort of got pushed out of its spot and put right there. 
the white piece that was here got pushed out of its spot and put right there. And then the red piece that was there got pushed out of its spot and put right there. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Um, and you really, you know, you can just do kind of whatever you want. You know, and then we'll do that. And then we'll undo our X. And then we got to undo our Y. We'll have created a three cycle. Red, so the red piece was here, went right there. The blue piece was here, you know, circled all the way around this puzzle. It came from right there. And then the yellow piece that went was here, moved all the way around this puzzle, went right there. And so looking at a different view, we just did a, a three cycle, but instead of doing it sort of the short way, this way, we went a long way around the puzzle, but we still made sure that they only overlapped by one piece. So here we go. So that overlaps by one piece right there. But we don't have to do just that, right? You know, so we can actually, we can actually do, and then now the orange overlaps by one, and then undo, and then we've got to go back around. And see, we, we took this piece around the puzzle instead of doing that, or the inverse. So hopefully that makes a whole bunch of sense. So let's go and look at a puzzle that should be a lot more familiar to you. Assuming you've solved one of these, it's, it's called Rubik's Cube, maybe you've seen it. So let's talk about how to three cycle pieces on this puzzle. This puzzle's, I, I'm using it because I hope you're, you're very familiar with it. Um, as you can see, there's like no way to isolate a piece in just like one move, right? If we do that, then if we try to do this, you know, we're going to break two corners and one edge. So that's great. If, if we're only interested in edges, then we could do that, 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 that. And we put it in a three cycle of these edges. So you ignore that the corners got broken. So we took the edge that was there and we put it right there. Took the edge that was there and we put it right there. Took the edge that what was there and put it right there. <coughs> so let me show that to you again. You've probably, if you are any good at solving this, you've probably done that intuitively without even thinking about it, hopefully many times. And you know, and then we can undo. So there's the inverse. But what happens if we want to cycle edges and we want to do it um, in a way that's pure, so in a way that doesn't affect corners? So as the reason why this affected the corners when we did that is because there's two corners in the way. And when we undo x and then undo y, so we cycled corners, and so you can see that corner's broken, that corner's broken, that corner's broken, that corner's broken. You know, so we sort of made a mess of this puzzle, you know, because there was no overlap. We didn't really isolate an edge. But so check this out. Okay, now an edge is isolated in a way that doesn't affect corners. It's isolated in this middle slice. So as you can see rest of that slice is solved except for that one edge out. So if we take this edge and we put it right there and then we undo the, the X part and then we undo the Y part we'll have created a three cycle in the edges and it will, will have not affect the corners at all. So let me show that to you again. So we're going to take this corner we're going to get, well, so actually, so what we want to do is we're going to take this corner and we're going to put it right there. So the way we're going to do that is like that, okay? And then we're going to take the corner of this right there, and we're going to put it right there. Or, I'm, I'm edges, I'm sorry, not corners, edges. Now we got to undo. Okay, now we put the original edge back, the edge that was in its spot back, and then we have to undo our Y part, and that's why it creates a three cycle of that piece, that piece, and that piece. So if we wanted to create a three cycle of this piece, this piece, and this piece, so that one, you know, ignoring that one, um, that one, that one, that one, then let's do that. Okay, so instead of putting that piece there, we're going to put that, this one right there. So we'll just do a two slice instead. And it, so it created cycle, you know, edge, edge, and edge. So that's one way you can do a, a commutator of the edges. And it, it should make sense. You know, you, you do this, these three moves. 
Then you do the, the Y part, the one move, and they only overlap by a single piece. Then you undo the X part, the th original three moves, and then you undo the Y part. And because they only overlapped by one piece, you have a pure three cycle. So you can actually do the same thing with the corners. So, so let's do the exact same sequence. And instead of that edge, which was isolated in the slice, we can do that corner. Notice that all, you know, all the corners are solved except for that one. So we take that corner and put it there. And then we undo our X part. Oh, got to undo it. And then we undo our Y part. We did a three cycle, that corner, that corner, that corner. So why did it involve these three corners? Well, let's take a look. So we did our first part right here. So it took that corner, put it right there. And then now we're going to do the second move. It takes that corner that was right there, puts it right there. And then we undo. So it took that corner and we put it right there. Ignore what happened to this one at first. So now we're going to take this corner and put it in place. So this is this is where the, this is the Y part, and they only overlap by this one piece right here. So now we just put that piece in place. Now we got to undo. So now it puts the original corner back into its its original location, but now we have to undo Y, and so that's why the corner that was in its original location location goes right there. So that's why we did the three cycle, that corner, that corner, and that corner. I hope that makes a lot of sense. So let's go take a look at another puzzle you might be familiar with, the 4x4x4. Four by four by four. Now, a lot of people have some edge three cycles. So, you know, slice up, slice back, up, I gotta do that right. And, it, you know, it'll have done a three cycle in these edges. That's a commutator. So, what was going on? Why, why was that that slice first? and then that, and then the slice there. Oh, and I undid it wrong. Okay, so let's, let's try that again. So slice up, slice back, and it created a three cycle of these edges. So it turns out that it doesn't matter if you do X first or Y first. So we can think of this slice move as Y, and then we can think of that is x. But it doesn't really matter because all that matters is that x and y overlap. It doesn't really matter the order. It doesn't really matter what they look like. Uh, all that matters is that they overlap by one move. So we could call that y, and then we could do x. And we could undo y, and then undo x, and it'll create a commutator. Or it doesn't really matter. You know, we could call that x, and then we could do y, and then undo x, and then undo y, and it doesn't matter at all. And in fact, maybe this is not the, the, the edges three cycle that you use. Maybe, um, maybe your edges three cycle involves, say, this piece instead. So let's take a look at that. So we can do our little slice up. And then instead of taking that piece, or no, excuse me, this piece, and put it right there. So see what happened there? OK, so let me show that again. We'll do slice up. Now, we're going to ignore what happens to that piece for now. When I do this, that, that edge gets put right there. That edge goes down here and then up there. So, and then back. And so that's why it did a three cycle of that edge, that edge, and that edge. And in fact, you, you, don't, you don't even need to do the, 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 the white part first. So we can do this, uh, like that, OK? And then we can take that and put it there and then undo. So we don't even have to start with the slice first, and it'll still affect the, the same three edges. So you know, we don't have to use this edge. We can, we can use a different edge. So let's do um, this sli slice. And then instead of bringing uh, that piece there, let's bring, say, that piece there, that one right there. So see where it came from? The yellow-blue piece. Put the yellow-blue piece there. Now we got to undo our slice. And now we got to undo our X part. And there we go, or our Y part, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. And we'll have done a three cycle edge, edge, and edge. And you know, it, we could have done that one instead, that one right there. So let's do that. Let's, let's start this way here. So then we're going to put that right there. Now, hell, instead of using that one, let's use that one. So then we'll put that edge up, and then undo, and then undo. And we'll have done three cycle of edge, edge, edge. See, really, 
all that matters is that we can find, excuse me, we can find some x, then we can find some y. So we kept on doing this slice, why don't we just do this slice instead? You know, that after all that edge is isolated in this slice. And then we undo. And then we undo. And we move down a three cycle edge, edge, edge. And in fact, if you, you may or may not have noticed this, but you can actually treat. So take a look at this. So this is probably the three cycle that you do for edges or something very similar. Did you know that you can think of corners as edges when you're doing this commutator? So check this out. Let's do, let's do that slice up. It's not really a slice, it's a face move. That slice up. Well, OK, let's start over. That slice. OK, we're going to have to do it this way. That slice up. Now let's turn that slice back. Now we undo our x. And there we go. So we did a three cycle. Corner, corner, corner. This is just exactly what I showed you on the Rubik's Cube. And as you can see, it is exactly the same construction as the edges three cycle. So it, you probably figured out by now that you know you can sort of select which ones get moved by which slice you choose. And the reason for that is that these moves isolate a piece. And then by choosing which slice, you get to choose which piece moves. And then you undo. So that's a commentator. And of course, you can do something like this, too. So you don't have to make it overlap by one piece. If you want to cycle two pieces at the same time, then you can do that, and then undo, and then undo, and you'll cycle two pieces at the same time. You know, two, two, two. You know, so two, three cycles. And in fact, you know, you can do, uh, you can do three at the same time. So you can do edge, edge, and corner. Uh, well, and corner, and then undo, and then edge, edge, and corner back, and you will cycle groups. So those three pieces, those three pieces, and those three pieces. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense. So let's go take a look at a different puzzle. Um, let's see what I can find here. Okay, so let's take a look at a pyramid crystal. Okay, so if you don't know, um, there's a really simple three cycle on the, on the pyramid crystal for the edges, and the reason is that those two moves overlap by just one piece. So if we call that x, we call that y. Then you know if we do x, x inverse, y, y inverse, obviously we didn't do anything. But if we do x, and then y, and then x inverse, and then y inverse, we created a three cycle. So let's look at that again. You should be able to probably follow what happens to these pieces. So the piece that was here goes to right there, goes down, and then the we're going to take that piece, and they overlap by one. And then we undo, undo, and there we go. So we got a 1-1 a one, one commutator. x is one move, and y is one move, and then we undo x, undo y. So let's go take a look at a different puzzle. Um, OK, 2.1.0. So these two, see how they overlap by one piece, They're just that little piece right there? There we go. So it created a three cycle. You know, we don't have to. We don't have to do it this way. We could uh, make. You know, we could do pink to teal to undo to undo, and you know, cycle teal, pink, and red instead. You know, or we could. Uh, you know, we could do blue. So blue overlaps right there, and then we could do pink, which overlaps right there, and then undo, undo. You know, and three cycle those. And because they overlap in one piece, we don't really have to think about it. You know, this it just just sort of happens. Um, so let's go back to a bigger puzzle, say a 5 by 5 by 5. And again, I'll remind you that we can do edges like this, where you know they overlapped by one move, that, that, that slice move, the y part. You know, we'll have done a three cycle. Um, you may know this sequence, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, do a slice slice, slice. So what we did was we took the white piece that was over here somewhere. So let's let's watch again. We're going to take that white piece, that white center, put it right there, and we put it up. Okay? 
So that's the X part. So I'm going to show you Q again. Down, over, up. That's the X part. Now, we can find a Y part that only overlaps by one move. This, this piece, there's nothing else in the way. So we can put, say, that green piece in its spot. Now we got to undo X. Now we got to undo Y. And we created a three cycle. I know it looks like a swap. It looks like we swapped those two pieces. But it's actually a three cycle. So we took the the green square that was right here and we put it right there. We took the green square that, square that was right here and we put it right there. And then we took the white square that was here and we put it right there. And so if we do it again, we'll see that the white square will go there, then the green square will go there, and the green will go there. So it'll look like this white moves. And so if we do it again, there we go. So we took the white square that was right there and we put it right there. We took the green square that was right there and we put it right there. And the white square that, well, the green square that was there. And we put it right there. Okay. And then if, again, if we do it one last time, Green should go to there, white should go to there, and green should go to there, and it should look soft. And there we go. We just cycle that three cycle around until it came back to original. So let's, um, you know, there's no reason that we don't have to do the corners. So we can do, say, uh, these pieces. And then, okay, and so we got that one. And uh, let's say we want to swap it with that. We, you know, we want to cycle it with that one. So put it that in its spot. And then we got to undo X. Now we got to undo Y. And we did a three cycle where the green piece that was here went right there. The green piece that was here went right there. And the white piece that was here went right there. So again, that's a commutator. And it's a three, one commutator. So one, two, three. That's our X part. Now they overlap by one move. So this move only affects the one, or one piece. They overlap by one piece. So this is our Y part. So then you know we can put it, we can put that piece there. Now we got to undo X. And we got to undo Y. And we'll do a three cycle of this piece, this piece, and this piece. I think that makes I think it makes a lot of sense. I, I hope it does. Um, so let's go take a look at a different puzzle. Um, so let's look at. Oh, the Gigamix should be fine. Okay. So if you're not familiar with pairing edges on a Gigamix, it is essentially exactly the same as like a 5x5x5. Five by five by five. So um, most people do slice, undo slice. And there we go. We've got a three cycle. Why does this work? Well, let's take a look. Notice that uh, there's one. This slice only affects one piece. There's one piece of overlap. Um, so if we put that there, then we'll get a three cycle of that, that, and wherever else it came from. So let's instead we can put that piece there instead. So okay, and then we got to undo, and then undo our Y. We'll see now we did a three cycle of this piece, this piece, and this piece. And in fact, you know, there's other ways to pair edges too. So. Let's look at what else there is overlap for. So this is our X part. Uh, well, that's inverse, X inverse. So this is our X part. Notice that there's overlap in this slice, too. So let's put that purple piece right there, purple orange. OK, and then we get undo. And then we get undo our Y. And again, because they overlapped by one piece, we created a three cycle. And really, the same principle applies to the center. So let's take a look at the centers of the gigaminks and we can do them just exactly like we did on like a 5x5x5. Five by five by five. So we took the white piece and we isolated it. Ignore all the stuff that's broken. So we can put say that blue piece right there. Now we got to undo X. Now we got to undo Y. And we did a three cycle. Blue. So here we go. So blue. Well, ex excuse me. So white went to there. The blue that was there went there. The blue that was there went there. So we cycled it around this way. And again, if we do the exact same thing again, you'll see that it moved the white piece to there, the blue piece to there, and then that blue piece to there. And then we can do it again, and it'll all go back. There we go. Cycle it around. So you may be wondering, how do we cycle, say, 
that piece instead. You know, so that that uh, center piece. So let's let's give this a try. Well, that didn't really uh, that didn't really isolate any of that. That didn't really isolate that trapezoid piece for us. So what will isolate that trapezoid piece for us? So if we move it right there, well, it's not really isolated. It breaks all this stuff. So if we try to do a three cycle like that, we sort of just created a mess. See? So we took uh, we took the purple thing that was this purple bar that was here, we put it right there. We took the blue bar that was here, put it right here, and then we took the purple bar that was here and we put it right there. Not too useful. You know, and if we do that again. You'll see that the blue bar that was here went there, and then if we do it again, it'll all finally oh well, yeah. Um because ignore the fact that there were some edges that overlapped. The centers cycled back. Um, so we want to somehow isolate one of those edge pieces. So if we do that, what if we do, well, it's sort of isolated, except for there's a bunch of broken stuff, right? So let's do this first. So let's bring some little setup moves, OK? Now we're going to take a blue piece that was right there. Now we're going to undo our setup moves. Now notice that. It's like totally isolated. So let's replace it with you know a green piece over here. Okay. So this is our y part. So let me let me show that to you again. Okay. So this, this is where we were. So we did our x part. Now we do want to do our y part. Our y part can be anything we want. So we can just you know replace it like that. So let's do that first. And now we got to undo x. And then undo y. There we go. We created a three cycle. So we took uh, the purple piece that, well, so we took the purple piece that was here and we put it there. We took the purple piece that was there and we put it right there. We took the blue piece that was there and we put it right there because we did that. And so that's how we made the cycle. But really, like, we can do any darn thing we want as long as they only overlap by one piece. So let's do our setup moves again and then undo our setup moves. Okay, so we isolated that piece. Um, so let's replace it with a light blue piece over here. Okay, so let's see what it takes to do that. So we bring it around, and then we bring a light blue piece over, and then we put it back. Okay, now we got to redo our setup moves for X to, to undo X. No, undo, undo setup moves, and then now we so now we've undone X. So now we got to undo Y. There we go, and we created a three cycle. That blue piece to here to here. So, or, well, yeah, so purple to there, light blue to there, dark or medium blue to right there. And we could do the same thing with green. So, let's take a look at that. So, all that does is just isolate that piece so that we can kind of, we're free to do what we want with it. So, I put green right there. Now we've got to put it. Back in its spot. I've got to undo X. I've got to undo Y. Here we go. Three cycle here to here. To, oh, well, oh, I got to undo the rest of Y. Okay, three cycle here and here and here. Um, let's see if there's any other puzzles that we can look at making pieces overlap. Okay, so let's look at the star rings. So suppose we want to cycle the centers. We've got to find some way to find an x and a y that overlap. Um, instead of spending a lot of time showing you how to do that, we can just do something like this. Okay. Ignore what we did. So we'll in do the inverse. We can do any x moves we want. Any, 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 any x moves at all. Okay, so we'll call that x, four moves. Now, this center is not totally perfectly isolated, but eh, we don't really care. Um, we don't really care because, you know, let's ignore the points for a second. So, you know, we replaced that center with that center. So let's actually replace it with this pink one over here. Now we've got to undo x. Now we've got to undo y. And there we go. We created a three cycle, this center, this center, and this center. And so why were the, the star mix points also cycled in that? Well, let's take a look at what our x did. Notice how they overlapped. the overlap. The overlap was not just a center. It was two star mix points. 
That means that when we create this recycle, two storm race points and a center are going to be involved. So now we undo x, undo y, and there we go. And because this was the shape that overlapped, that is the shape that got recycled. It should make a lot of sense. So let's see if um, let's see if we can do these centers pure. I've never even tried that before. So, um, so this Starmix point was in the way, and this Starmix point was in the way. So what we want to do is we want to get it out of the way like that, and we want to get that one out of the way like that. Okay. So first we're going to do that and that, so that we can later do that and that. So that. Okay, so now let's do our x. Well, that's part of our x, so that's how it moves. Now we're going to undo them, so we should do that and that. Um, no, because that makes a mess. It, 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 that's not isolated either. So we're going to get a we're going to get a three cycle of centers, and we're also going to get a three cycle of points. But we'll do it again, anyways. Um, and we do that, that, and then we got to undo x, and that, that, and then undo y. There we go, and like I said, we have a three cycle of the centers, but we also have a three cycle of these star mix points. Um, well, so I shouldn't try things that uh, I've never tried before. But as you can see, you know, we were able to determine exactly what would happen by just looking at what the overlap was. Let's see if there's any other puzzles here. Um, hmm. Oh, okay, I can show you a totally crazy puzzle. We should be able to get this. We should be able to figure this out. Um, so a vertex turning very deep cut, 1.2.8. This thing is a monster. So let's say that we want to we want to cycle, say, one of these centers. And, you know, we'll allow it to cycle these points too, sort of like a star mix, right? So let's do something like, I haven't practiced on this, but let's give it a try. So that's going to be on my X part. And now you see, on, we, we sort of almost have something isolated. We want to do that, but it breaks that too. So we're going to have to do something like get that out of the way, maybe? So what was, yeah, so what if we do that? It moves all the junk that is in our way out of our way, right? So let's do that. And so that's a setup move. That's X. Okay, now we're going to undo our setup move. Oh, no, excuse me. Undo our setup moves like that. Now, great, we have this huge chunk of stuff that is all clean, except for this teeny tiny little overlap right here. See that overlap right there? So this is the X part is all the messed up stuff. Now we're going to do a Y part that only overlaps with the X by that little piece right there. And if we do that, we can predict exactly what is going to get cycled. So one center three cycle and two points, whatever those points are. And so that exact shape, that, that shape right there, that, that little horn thing on, on the Pentagon, um, that is the shape that's going to get three cycled. So now we got to see if I can remember even remember what the setup move was. So I think that was the setup move. Okay, and then I think we to undo, we do... And if I get the setup move wrong, this is all going to be totally scrambled. Um, and then I undo setup move. Okay, and then we undo Y. And there we go. The What I said was going to be 3-cycle is the exact thing that was 3-cycle because X and Y overlapped by exactly that amount, that's what got recycled. So suppose we want to try to find a way, and I'm probably going to get myself into trouble here and not be able to do it. Um, suppose we want to find a way to just cycle those teeny tiny little triangles. Let's see if we can figure out how to do that. Um, okay. So I think if we do something like this and then a slice move, so we'll just do that slice up. Okay. Um, okay, so check this out. So in this entire thing, the only overlap, so we, you saw X, the only overlap in this, in, well, in this entire little slice thing, or in this entire little gigantic vertex turn, is just this right here. So a tiny little triangle, that 
trapezoid parallelogram thing and then that triangle. So let's do that. Now we go to undo x. Let's see if I can even remember how to do that. Um, yeah, so I think undoing x, so that's our y part. And let's undo our x. Okay, now let's undo our y part. And because that was the overlap, that shape right there, that is the shape that we ended up three cycling. Okay. Um, and so it looks like we just, we, it looks like we just uh, did a swap, but um, because there's this green here and that white there, that suggests that there's some green over here or some white over here that we can't see that was also involved in the three cycle. So what if we do, so, okay, so what happens if we do this? So it looks like there's only that teeny tiny. So if we called all of what we just did X, and then there's that teeny tiny little piece of overlap. So let's put blue there. Now let's see if we can figure out how to undo Y. Um, so I think to undo Y, we have to do that. And then, uh, and then that. undo and it didn't work and the reason it didn't work is because remember how I said that there was some green that we couldn't see involved well we ended up taking a swipe of that so there we go that was the green that was involved right there that we could not see so let's give that another try um, and like I said I was probably gonna get myself into trouble here because um, finding this routine can be quite challenging I think um, so I'm trying to get my bearings. So let's try this. Let's try that slice down that time, and then up, and then we'll do that. Okay, and then we undid. Okay, now great. Now we know how longer have anything hidden. We can see that the green, the the yeah the the yellow, the dark green, and the brown were cycled. Okay, so if we do a, if we do that, no, that affects the brown. Okay, so we can't do that. Let's see, can we do this? No, that affects the yellow. So let's see if we can do. Oh, and that affects the green. Okay, so that's not going to be an effective way because we there's no real way to get access to that little triangle to make only one thing of overlap. See, you know, it's moving more than that, so there's more than the overlap. So I'm sure we can find it, though. Let's, so let's try again. I'm sure that we can find one. Um, down. And then I think before I brought that up, but let's bring that down instead, okay? Okay, so now do we have anything isolated? So what? Happens. Well, well, no, not really. Um, I don't see a way. Okay, so we clearly need to try something else. So let's do that, and then let's do that thing up and then do that up, that thing down, and then that down. Can we get access to, so nope, that's not an overlap that we can use. Is this an overlap that we can use? Nope, um, and that's not, is that? No, so let's, uh, we, so it can be really hard to find, as you can see, really, really, really hard to find the right overlap. So let's give this another try. And then bring that down. Um, we gotta undo. Okay. Do we have any? No. Okay, I think we found it. Notice 
Oh, well, you know what? Never mind, because we've, e we've involved um, some invisible orange here that we can't see. Um, so let's, let's, so let's try that again. And we might be able to use some invisibleness. So check this out. Okay. So there was some, there's some orange here that we can't see. So we're going to do the exact same thing again and find out what that orange is. There we go. So there's the orange. Is that going to work for us? I think it might. So we just have to remember that this orange is here, that we can't see it um, the first time we do this cycle. So that down, that up, that up. Now we bring that down, then we undo. So we're doing a nested commutator here. Okay. And remember that there's an overlap on that piece, but we can't see it, but it is there. It really is. Okay, so we're going to put the white in the spot. So we're going to make a cycle, a three cycle, that is white, orange, and I believe dark green. White, orange, and dark green. Okay, so now we got to undo. So that's the other hard part. We've got to figure out how to undo this. So I think the first thing to undoing is that, uh, so we bring that down, and then we do that, 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 and we put that up. We do that, that, and that. Now when we undo, we just created a three cycle. And it actually involved two orange pieces and one white piece. So you can't see what I'm going to do here, but I'm going to copy and paste all those moves, all 18 of them. So I'm going to copy those. And when I paste them in, you'll be able to see the hidden there we go. Did you see that? So I'm going to paste it in. You're going to see. So it's going to go back to the beginning. Solved. And see this piece right there? When we do it again, we're going to see that it involves another triangle right there. And so we created a perfect three cycle of those tiny pieces. And we were able to create that perfect cycle because we were able to find some sequence x. So let me show you what the x was. it was like this and then so this is all part of X so it's a nested commutator okay so that was all X and then we found an overlap right there that's the Y part then we got to undo X um, so undoing X means doing that that, 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 and then undoing the white part, the, the piece that overlapped. There we go. So we created a three cycle. The green piece, the green piece that was here went right there. The green piece that was here went right there, and then the dark blue piece that was there went right there. And if you don't believe me, well, I'm going to copy those moves again. And we should see this dark blue piece go to right there. If I can find the orientation. No, I'm not going to be able to find the orientation right. Um, yeah, I can't find the orientation right. Um, because if I don't get the orientation right, see, it'll just cycle a different set of pieces. But uh, we'll see that uh, it you know, cycles the other piece there. And then if I paste it in again, it all goes back. So again, OK, so I think I've beaten this point. I think I've beaten this topic to death. But if you can find some sequence of x moves, and then, a, uh, then some sequence of Y moves, and then they overlap by only a single piece. Then you undo X, then you undo Y. You can create a, a three cycle. You can create a, a commutator three cycle. And you can basically solve any darn piece on any puzzle using that technique. 
And it, again, it does not matter what x is, and it does not matter what y is. Just as long as you can find an x and a y that only have one piece of overlap, it'll work. So hopefully, I, hopefully that's understandable. Good luck finding your commutators.